My name is Celestia Tadaka. As a chef and a cook, one of the things that I really take pride in is the storytelling, being able to understand the indigenous knowledge to maybe have a link between the past and the present. And the Pacific coast of Colombia, I'm really excited to discover the biodiversity that's here. I know there are things that I've never seen before and that really excites me to learn about them, see what I can do with them. I'm looking forward to just meeting more people and learning more about the cuisine, about the food and about the country. So my quest is to create a menu, bring in some of the flavor profiles that are used here. And I also maybe um, offer you guys a bit of Ghana as well. One of the things I've seen is the diversity of people here in Colombia. Um, it feels home. People are very friendly and very inviting. Buenos dias. Hola, buenos dias. Como estas? <laughs> Bien. Uh, you did some courses in gastronomy, but is that where you learned it? La herencia de la familia. Aprendí como que ya traer la cocina de mi familia a la mesa. Ahora le tomo esa importancia porque es como volver a los ancestros, volver a investigar la gastronomía de nosotros, la gastronomía que viene de allá de ustedes. Y mantengo emocionada por eso porque cada día aprendo más y tenemos mucho en común. So what are we going to make today? Vamos a hacer un sancocho chocuano. Es una de las tantos sancochos que tenemos en Colombia. En Colombia tenemos muchos sancochos en muchas regiones. Yo espero que hoy quede rico, porque la comida queda rica cuando uno le coloca ese amor. La región pacífica es muy extensa. En cada región tienen una forma de cocinar diferente a la otra, pero todas usamos la salsa madre preparada con la hierba y azotea. No, yo pico no. así. Yo ah, pico así okay. para que quede más delgadita. Okay. My first impressions of the cuisine is that there are a lot of similarities and I think there are certain things in life we think we're different or we're in different places but they're just little moments that make you see the thread that runs through humanity and that runs through food and I think that was what I felt, um, that's my first uh, reaction. Finding the Encanto in Basilia was her hospitality. She's someone who is quite busy. She has amazing amounts of energy, but her warmth just made me feel at home. Being able to be invited into her kitchen to help her, to learn from her, it just makes me want to be a better chef and better cook. It smells really good. <laughs> it's delicious. I love it. Uh, later on, met Saul. We connected right away, and it felt like someone who's on the similar journey as myself. El Pacífico colombiano es una de las regiones de mayor riqueza hídrica del mundo, y eh, la diversidad en la selva tropical húmeda de esta región, en muchos casos, todavía no ha sido reconocida científicamente, no ha sido catalogada. Es un lugar con mucha vida que genera plantas extraordinarias, unos ecosistemas que aún están por conocerse, pero aún así hace parte de unos saberes ancestrales y de unas herencias de las culturas nativas con respecto a no solamente la naturaleza animal, sino la diversidad ecológica que existe. El hecho que estamos tan apartados de las dinámicas modernas hace que las culturas originarias, las culturas indígenas, todavía preserven sus herencias en, en la forma más pura. I believe the most important aspect of the sharing of all this knowledge is the capacity that we have to create relationships that work. If we make the relationship works, the knowledge comes with ease. So for San Cipriano, it's um, quite a magical little place. I loved going through, seeing the different towns and the different communities, getting a chance to go alongside the river and be parallel with it. We actually even had rain, which added uh, a bit of extra magic, because I think the unexpected is what really makes an experience. Finding Mama Yeye in itself is an encanto. Being able to take this canoe across, um, walking through this wonderful vegetation. Hola. 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 
and then to find this amazing woman who has set up this wonderful space to share her culinary knowledge was wonderful. Hoy día vamos a preparar unos rollitos de pringamosa. Mamá ya raíces en todo su entorno es un honor a la cultura nuestra. Pero en sí, el origen de Mamayella Raíz es agradecer a mi abuela. Y uno de sus platos preferidos era la pringamosa. Entonces, lo que hemos hecho ahorita con la receta es tomar ese, ese producto principal que es la pringamosa y llevarlo a recetas diferentes, pero sin perder la autenticidad de la hierba de azotea. And this is the secret to the recipe. Okay, okay. Lo segundo... Es que yo soy muy boquisabrosa, me gusta comer bien. No hay nada más satisfactorio que cocinar tus propios alimentos. Um, when people talk a lot, I think these days about farm to table, this is this is it. She literally is using resources from around her. Um, the flavors, they were singing. She used just simple items, but when they came together, they melded and the flavors just came out. So um, we were supposed to cross over to the other side and um, the river is just too high. She's invited us back. I don't drink coffee like everybody else in Colombia. So she made me a lemongrass uh, tisane. So it just shows a little bit of the hospitality that you'll find here. So just lemongrass tea from her garden. Perfect for a rainy day. I uh, came to the port city, big town, which was a, an interesting contract. First was at the market, the Galleria market, where we met uh, Gladys. Who showed me around, made a few wonderful selections for my menu, and it was great to have all those resources for my quest. Gladys stopped what she was doing to kind of give me a tour, show me the fish, explain to me all the different varieties that they had and the challenges that were in the food system as well. That sense of hospitality and sort of generosity is very rare, I think, in a lot of my travels, but it was just so welcoming. It looks like I've definitely found one of the ingredients for my menu. We're at the port of uh, Buenaventura, and we are going to go look for fish, join the fishermen, and see what they catch today. We went out, and it's amazing to find this mangrove like 10 minutes away from this massive, you know, port city. And you just go, and then all of a sudden you hear birds, and it was just so peaceful. We met this wonderful couple. Honestly, relationship goals. Um, when you watch them, you see the two of them coordinating absolutely in sync. The way they just dropped the net and the way they pulled it back in. It was like watching a well choreographed like dance. So it was really beautiful. What is the way that you normally would prepare it? Frito, sudado, pero con plátano o yuca. Papachino? Papachina también, pero muy poco. So um, actually being able to design my menu came very, very easily. Each course really is in many ways dedicated to or inspired by different moments that I've had here in the Colombian Pacific. It kind of came together through the experience. So in the creation of my menu, I had the assistance of two amazing young women. It was great to have them use their knowledge to support my menu because they knew the ingredients more than I did. And so that was wonderful for them to be able to sort of hold my hand in the process of learning some of these ingredients. What they've taught me has really helped me to think about new ways in creating dishes. In the Ghanaian context, let's say we would use a lot of spices, whereas here it's a lot of fresh herbs. So that element is something that has been new for me and I'm using it going forward, but also using it in my quest. I have learned a lot from the people that I've met. I've been able to connect with their style of cooking. There are similar challenges and similar opportunities that I see in traditional ancestral cooking. I would say the, the journey has actually made me more curious even in my own terroir. So I'm excited to go back to Ghana and see how those connections move forward. And I think humanity is built around connection and that's what this trip has been for me. We were able to transcend language and we were able to have our passion for food and cooking and preserving and protecting the traditional ways of doing things 
um, and being able to translate them into modern times. And I think that was the passion that we had, that we were able to communicate with each other and to create something magical. I think that the place has its magic, but the people have the encantos. Their character, their personality, um, there's something just so warm and inviting and endearing. In terms of the um, Colombian Pacific as a gastronomic destination, I think it's much more than eating at fancy restaurants. It's about learning about the ingredients, seeing where they grow, the stories behind these ingredients, and I think that is actually the encanto. It's actually having a human connection with producers, growers. It's definitely something that is much deeper with the roots of the ingredients and the roots of the cuisine. That is the charm. That is something that you don't get in many places, and you get that here.